Wi-Fi. Now if you haven't heard about Mesh Wi-Fi, it's okay. If you have heard about it but you don't know if you need it, we're going to talk about it. So what does Mesh Wi-Fi do? If you have access points like this one or Wi-Fi routers at home, we know that there's a certain range within your building that they can only cover. And there are areas that they cannot cover, we call them dead zones. With the rise of technology, most of our devices connect to the internet via wireless. With those dead zones and Wi-Fi coverage, the access points and Wi-Fi routers cannot cover, this is where your Wi-Fi mesh comes in. They can extend the coverage within your building. And you can also put devices in those dead zones. Distribute mesh devices to each location you want to have Wi-Fi coverage. And then these devices can connect themselves wirelessly to act as one and cover the area and expand the wireless coverage. Now what I have here is Nova and it comes with three devices. Now if you need more devices, go ahead and buy more. Now this is the cheapest so far that I've seen. There are a lot of brands out there and it vary according to brand from Linksys to Ubiquiti to Meraki, etc. This is around $100 and it varies within your location. Now let's go ahead, open this one and set them up. There you go, we have three. Let's bring them all out. light indicator and then hmm, this is good we have a reset pin out there port for the internet or LAN wired cables here like for desktop that doesn't have Wi-Fi connections so we can use that one and then the power the username and password out here and uh, with this one we can mount this one on the wall so we can do it like that now let's try to configure this one try to power on one of these We have the light indicator out there and we're going to connect the Ethernet. So we have the LAN here, LAN 1, put it there. Now since we have powered on and connected one of our uh, mesh Wi-Fi device, we're going to connect to the Wi-Fi. We have Nova here, connect, this is the default. You can always go at the back and check on the default password and username. Now that we have been connected, you need to install the Tenda Wi-Fi app. Most of the mesh Wi-Fi devices that you buy outside comes with the app. So you need to find that one and install it to your phone so that you can configure the devices. This will take us to the wizard. So let's just set up. Nova is identifying the connection. Now our connection is dynamic because I'm connected to my home router and then just press next. Let's move on. Let's put a Wi-Fi name to Rogi Pro. How about our password? For the purpose of this demo, I'll just put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then done. Okay. Let's just wait. After connecting to this one, you can see this icon here that we can add more devices. They will be connected automatically as long as you have placed them in the proper locations and powered them on. I'll just power on all of our devices so that we can set up all devices. Just keep the Novas 10 meters away from each other. So we can go for next. Make sure that they are already powered on and then they have the LEDs lighting on. So we have the one. And then check connection status based on the in color LED indicator. So green means excellent connection. Yellow means fair and red is disconnected. Okay. We can see here that three of my Novas are connected together. Now you can click in each icon of this one and you can see that the connection are excellent. We can also put the location of these ones if you want to. There are a lot of functionalities within this app. Now the app itself depends on the provider you have. So if you have Ubiquiti, you have Meraki, you have other brands, ASOS, Linksys, it will differ. But the functionality of the mesh Wi-Fi will always be the same. Now if you need more devices to cover more coverage, you can just get more and add them here. I hope you have learned something from this video. Until next time, and goodbye.